Hi, and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy. In this video, I'm going to talk about systemic risk. So what is systemic risk? I found this really great definition in a paper by Ren from 2022. And he states that systemic risk is defined and characterized with having high complexity transboundary effects, stochastic relationships, and non-linear cause effect patterns with tipping points and often associated with less public attention than they actually deserve. So systemic risks range from natural hazard, environmental threats, financial crisis, cyber risk, I may add money laundering and other global issues. Due to the special features of the systemic risk, they are overextending the already established risk, uh, risk management and thereby creating new problem and also challenges for policymakers in terms of governing risk or risk governance. The negative effects are often pervasive, impacting fields beyond the obvious primary areas of harm. So let's just scale it down and take it one by one, just to look at the main characteristics here. So we have high complexity because we cannot say that when we're talking about systemic risk, we're talking about risk that is funded in our systems and the systems that we have created or the systems that we affect. If we look at the creator, because whenever we think about systemic risk because of the financial crisis in 08, we go back there and we think about the financial system and the systemic risk in the debt crisis. But the systemic risk can also be affected by other complexities because it may be the environment, uh, an environmental risk. And that also has high complexity because my behavior in my country, in my region, might affect others in other regions and I might not even be, well, obviously knowledgeable about these effects. So there is a demand of high complexity when we talk about systemic risk. The second one is very closely bound to the high complexity and that is the transboundary effect because I've already said that we have this interconnectedness in our globalized world and especially when we look at systemic risk, the essence is that one element somewhere in the world might because of our connectedness affect other parts of the world. We did see it under the COVID-19 and these transboundary effects really makes it even harder to kind of control the systemic risk because we might not always know where the next origin, the next disease or even where the next depth accumulation arises. A third significant characteristics of systemic risk is this stochastic relationships. And we can look at this of, I put up here the randomness of the relationship. And it's because it's not always clear what happens one, uh, one place in the world or with one bank. How does that really relate to another one? And it is kind of random and this is what defines systemic risk is we cannot predict everything because there's a randomness about it. It, it is multiple events happening randomly all over that will accumulate to a serious systemic risk. So this randomness, this st stochastic relationship really makes it really difficult for us to counter uh, and to mitigate these types of systemic risks. Very closely related to this also is the last element, the non-linear cause effect patterns, because we cannot always say when we have systemic risk, we can't say, well, we can say sometimes uh, in the aftermath, we can say, well, the waves started over here, but there were also some here and they had a kind of a cause leading to the effect, but it's not a linear one because it is a multiplication of a lot of random effects that in our system accumulates to this systemic risk. So this 
was just to try to highlight some of the characteristics from this amazing definition by Ren. And just think about systemic risk as being a risk that is, is it is a, an accumulation of different effect around the world to a certain system. So the risk might differ, but the systemic part does not differ. So it might be environmental risk, it might be some crime risk, it might be financial risk that turns into a systemic risk because they affect each other in a randomized world and in a globalized, very connected world. So this was just a short video on systemic risk. Stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and let's talk much more to share knowledge.